folks. We are back here in Gatlinburg. We're going to do a little exploring today. We're going to look around. We're going to do a little shopping. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. We just parked in the city of Gatlinburg parking lot. It is a beautiful morning here in Gatlinburg. And we're here at nine o'clock AM. Folks are starting to head into town for the day. That's a few days after Memorial Day and all the crowds have left. It's gonna be quiet. We do have the rod runs. But this time of year, it's a little bit quiet until the leaves start changing. Then things start getting hectic. Dollywood will be opening with the Great Pumpkin Lemonites and the Harvest Fest. We also have some crafting shows that will be going on in the area. The businesses have already started to decorate for the Harvest Festival here. And so today we're just gonna, we're gonna walk Gatlinburg. We're gonna do a little shopping for our 91,000 subscriber giveaway. We're only 250 subscribers away at the moment. I'd say about a week's time we're gonna be, we'll be doing that. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, of course we're standing on top of the, the Gatlinburg city parking structure. It's only $10 to park here, and it's convenient, easy in, easy out. You can just head right down there and you'll be in Pigeon Forge within a few minutes. And uh, you can head up 321 and you could be out to Cosby before you know it. Parking on average is about $20. Yet again, if you park in the city lot, which is right here, across some Old Reds, there's also another city lot next to the aquarium. It's only $10. A lot of folks that are heading into town overlook this little piece of history, the old Ogle Log Cabin. And uh, yeah, today it's not open, but some days they do open it. You can walk in, you can see what it's like or what it was like here in Gatlinburg back in the day. It's cool if you're in the shade, but as the day goes on, it's gonna start warming up. It's gonna get hot. So we're gonna to try to get this done early today. You got the Tennessee Shine Company over there. You have a Smoky Cigar Smoke Shop. The Toy Box, they also have one in Pigeon Forge at the Mountain Mile and the Daiquiri Shack. We've ate there a few times. It's part of the Margaritaville brand. Yeah, it's got, it's got okay food. Anakista's got a retail shop that you don't have to go up to Anakista to buy to buy some merchandise. We're gonna head on in and see if there's anything interesting. We're doing a little shopping today to fill three boxes that are gonna be Gatlinburg themed for our 91,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway. We're looking for some things that we could put in that box of course I have a real nice Tennessee mug here yeah, $46 oh that smoky bear he's he's cute <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of nice stuff of course if you're looking for Anakista branded merch they have everything down here that they have at the top so you don't have to go to the top if you don't want to but there's also Oh, a possum. <laughs> and I, I love the decor in here. They got that elk up there and some pheasants and an old Johnson motor over there. Yeah. Also have some water and some sodas, some snacks. Just kind of taking it all in as I look around. We're staying away from liquid. We're staying away from chocolate, you know, things that can melt or break during shipping. We also can't do t-shirts because we don't know what size the person is that's going to win. But we can do like coffee mugs and maybe, you know, 
something like this, $24.99, you know, and we want to get a variety of things from the stores here in, in Gatlinburg. We're doing three Gatlinburg themed boxes. We're also gonna be doing a Pigeon Forge box, a Dollywood box, and so we'll have a lot of different boxes that we'll be giving away. So Dawn knows how to shop, and she's gonna be picking out some of the items that we're gonna be giving away. And uh, do you see anything here at Anakista? See some like cool magnets and some keychains. Yeah, so maybe we should pick up some magnets at this store. And yet again, we're gonna go through Gatlinburg picking up things. I do know one thing we're gonna get that everybody that comes to Gatlinburg should get. That'll be coming up a little bit later. And we have these three to choose from. And I think we both decided on this one here. This just screams Anakista with its iconic uh, chandala and overlooking the mountains. Looks like it's at, in fall time, so. The first, we're gonna get three of these. All the boxes will have the exact same items in it. But we're gonna get three of these to start off with. Oh, magnets from Anakista. They also have these really cool postcards too. Postcards yeah, but I think people are gonna like the magnets better because they can put them on the refrigerator or whatever. Oh my goodness, they have these little keychains or Christmas ornaments of Bigfoot. That is really, really cool. And it even says Anakista, they're, they're $11. We thought these guys were so cute. So we picked up three of them to give away to you all. It's cool, it's a keychain. It's Bigfoot, of course, whoops, I dropped it. It says Anakista. And yeah, it's just a, but you can also hang it on the Christmas tree too. And look at his feet, they're, <laughs> they're big. And then every box will also get one of these magnets here. Pretty cool. Yeah, right here at Anakista. And the fall festivities are in full swing up at Anakista. I heard it's it's all decorated. They're having an Oktoberfest up here at Anakista this year. And they've already gone started decorating for that. They got this great big bear here. And he's got himself a cold one, a cold brew. And he uh, he's fiberglass. But anyways, yeah. A little little Oktoberfest going on here. Fall is slowly arriving here in the Great Smoky Mountains. There's the Ripley's Aquarium over there. It's one of our favorite stops. But let's go ahead, let's continue this shopping downtown. We got some already from Anakista. So those lucky individuals are gonna they got a lot of nice stuff in there. That, that, yeah. that Bigfoot keychain is adorable. It's just, cute. just saying. Also, a little, fr a little refrigerator, a little refrigerator decor never hurt anybody either, did it? You know, old time portraits. Got some souvenir cigars and cold drinks. Uh, they don't allow filming here. They're they they just they don't they just don't like filming here. No no filming in there. We've we've gotten yelled at years and years ago. <laughs> and you got the clock peddler, a great shop. Got grandfather clocks, cuckoos. The cuckoos are my my favorite pack. Let's go in and check out the cuckoos real quick. I'm just I love cuckoos. Yeah, these cuckoos are are my favorite. Black Forest. Cuckoo clocks. My grandmother had one. I've always wanted one. One of these days I am gonna break down. I know I've said this a few times and get one, but today's probably not the day. Yeah, I don't know if I got one. I don't know which one I would get. Probably something a little bit smaller, right? Or you can go really big. It's one of the busier ones. You do get the cuckoo, like I said, just like underneath the awning. Oh, okay. You also get the bell up top and the beer drinkers. You'll get the couple, the water wheel, and the dancers. Um. Yeah, and my grandmother had one, and I used to, when I was a kid, I used to watch it. Yes, sir. Wait for the bird to come out every single time. It's just kind of neat till you don't forget that. Beautiful grandfather clocks. Of course, these are Howard Millers, and 
they're known for them. My mom has got a Howard Miller grandfather clock at home, and it absolutely drives us crazy sometimes. <laughs> but I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't hear her grandfather clock chime when we're over there visiting. Yet again, I got to fight off not getting a cuckoo clock really one of these days. One of these days. And I always like to stop off at the buckboard too. Got a lot of really cool nostalgic type uh, merchandise in here. Yeah, check out all these figurines. There's a Pennywise, Smokey Bear. And I got all the cool stuff. You got Gumby, Elf, some more Gumby, got Mr. Bean, even Mr. Bean socks. I know there's always folks out there looking for Elvis stuff and they got they got that. I actually love those clocks up there. He's doing his his hip shake there, his famous uh of course he's wearing his blue blue suede shoes, right? Dawn, they have Care Bears. Now there's a lot of things in here for us, but we're shopping for our subscribers today. And of course, you know, they want Gatlinburg stuff, right? You know, stuff but but there is a lot of really cool things here. For yourself, right? Yeah, what is that? Barbie light up? I think it's one of those sketch of things. It oh. has two sheets and reusable decals. Oh, uh, yeah. They also have uh, that Care Bears lunchbox. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? If you're looking for a Dolly Funko Pop, well, they have them here too. $15. This brings back a lot of memories, Dawn, doesn't it? The Beatles. You did Abbey Road. We both did Abbey Road. Yeah, that's the original. Disney. That's yeah. That's the road we walked on. It was. Yeah, I love the memories here. Blondie, you know what you are? You're a bom 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 bom. I think we need to get a life-size stand-up of Chucky and put him in the studio. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Or maybe Pennywise. Think it'd go good? Uh, probably not. And before you know it, Christmas will be here. Of course, we all know the Christmas story. And uh, yeah, just a good time. Up in Muncie, Indiana, we visited Bob Ross's studio. Pretty cool. It's interesting to see he did it in the living room of his home. All those famous paintings, or at least most of them. And there is a lot to take in, folks. More than we can even show you. And we're here in a must stop, The Village. And there's lots of really cool, unique shops in here. We're gonna take a look around and see if we can find some something here for y'all. And a day hiker. I've been in there many times. I got some really cool hiking tees. And the donut fryer. It is extremely hard to walk by the donut fryer without indulging in one of those amazing donuts. We're gonna head in though. We're looking for some merchandise instead. One of a kind Gatlinburg. And they sell more than just donuts here. They have merch also. And that is a really cool tea. And they have lots of different things to choose from. Uh, these are, are nice also. These mugs, yeah, even hats. They, they have a lot, don't they? They even got all these mugs over here. Now this would be kind of fun for some folks. You know, sit and have coffee or hot chocolate, you know? The orange is, is kind of fun. And they even have a donut fryer bobblehead. Christmas ornaments. We cannot have any donuts, folks. We're on a strict diet. But these are the goodness here. Those Long Johns there are amazing. We've had this before. In fact, I think the last time we were here, we had that, that cream-filled goodness there. And the smell in here is amazing, folks. It is so hard to come in here and just to be in here. We decided on a coffee mug. We feel that that fits the donut fryer the best, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't know which one. Of course, we want one that says donut fryer. Now, these here are made here in the Smokies. They're $21.95. And it's made by Potter in the Park, which is, I believe, out on 321. 
And then they also have these ones here too, and they're kind of like wide, and they're they're eleven dollars, but they're just like a printed, and they, but they have them in different colors: red, orange, purple. And I like this one too. This one's a cool one, right? Yeah. Ten ninety nine. You know, and they also come in. Yeah, which ones do you think we should go with? Trying to keep to that Gatlinburg theme. I think we're going to get one of these here. They're handmade. Of course, they have the Donut Fryer logo. Yes, Dawn. Now, what color are we going to get? We got blue. We got light blue, dark blue. Uh, I think blue, right? Yeah, blue. There's a white one there. I've seen a white one. We kind of want to get them all the same. That way, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's get these here. We'll get that one. We got three Donut Fryer coffee mugs. And I forgot that... It's cash only here. So I had to come up with that cash, like, which I had it. So we got them. Yes, that's a really cool, that screams Gatlinburg, don't it? You got the coffee company, you got Toy Crazy. And this area reminds me of England, right? And the sun is bright today, isn't it? <laughs> Candle Cottage candles are made right here in Sevierville, and you can buy them throughout the United States. In fact, around the holidays, even Walmart sells their candles, but they have a store here in Gatlinburg. And uh, yeah, that is definitely the Great Smoky Mountains there. Of course, you have the this cool British uh, phone that I always goof around with. I always make a, a shout out to our friends like Hilga, Trian Dorset, uh, Liz, Finnish tea drinker, even though he lives here in the States now. But anyways, yeah, he's, an, he's a, what they call an expat, right? Yep. Expat, yeah. Maddie Mays Cafe and Creamery. I believe that's new. They also have Gatling Escape Games and Pop Culture. Well, they sell like popcorns and, ooh, it smells like popcorn in there. And the tin roof is coming back soon. Not open just yet, but I noticed I peeked in there and there's a lot of, like they're, they're almost done. They're, they're gonna get ready to open. Of course, a lot of moonshine is made right here in Gatlinburg, but I don't think we can ship that through the mail. I think that might be illegal some way or another. And we can't ship this to you, but you know what I'm talking about if you ever had one. If we could ship you an ogle dog, we would but it wouldn't make it. It'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it, Dawn? Yep. It, it would be bad. I don't think a caramel apple would make it either, right? I don't think so. If you've been coming to Gatlinburg for a long time, this is where the old World of Illusions used to stand. Now it's Tennessee Stud Cider. A little apple goodness going on in there. You can do free tastings. Yeah, free tastings. Tennessee's best. They got pretty much everything in there. And over here you can get some airsoft guns, swords, martial arts. Yeah. Sometimes these stores are just packed to the gills, aren't they? And I got the Bear Claw, Leather Goods, Southern Moon. And some of these stores are closed. Probably taking a, a little break from the summer of craziness. And there's the old McDonald's building. It doesn't look like they're gonna tear it down anytime soon. And this used to be the old Pucker slash China Bazaar building. And it's, it's went vertical. They're currently working on it. And this is a must stop and a must get when you're here in Gatlinburg. We're gonna go in and get some taffy. And they're not making any taffy at the moment. But if you've been here, you know what we're talking about. Yes. And boy, do they have candy here. They have everything you can imagine. So when Dawn came up with the concept of these gift boxes, the one thing we both said right off the bat was, we gotta get, we gotta get Taffy from Gatlinburg, right? And this is what we're gonna get right here. Old Smoky Candy Kitchen. One of the originals. And uh, yes. Pretty cool, huh? So we're gonna get three boxes. 
oh my goodness, when you buy three boxes, you get a box for free. So we're gonna get our own box. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get four boxes today. And this is a must. This is something everybody has to get when they visit the Smokies. Yep, we're gonna get three boxes. Actually, we're gonna get four boxes because we get a box for ourselves. It's getting heavy carrying all this stuff through Gallenberg. We mm -hmm. might have to make a run back to, to the, the car, car. Just, just to dump it off so we can come back out and get some more stuff. Right? Yeah. But, yeah. I think there, everybody likes taffy. There's nothing more classic in the Great Smoky Mountains than some taffy. And uh, this is definitely, you know, screams Gallenberg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, homemade chocolate fudge, peanut butter, and the smell is just amazing. Pecan rolls, pralines, and this is definitely candy heaven. This is where candy goes to be happy. I love the the original building, you know, the original. Uh, yeah, and it goes in, goes around in a circle here, and no matter where you where you go there's always a box of taffy in, in your face you know yeah you've got some cute little smoky mountain bears here lots of lots of fun yeah homemade red candy apples of course caramel apples are my favorite yeah we can't do any like malted chocolate balls there's a chance they might melt that would be a mess right yeah, these Dumbos are kind of cute, right? It's a family tradition. And yet again, there's nothing like taffy at the old Smoky Candy Kitchen. Right here in, in Gatlinburg. I love the original architecture that they have. This is, this is like the Gatlinburg I grew up with. And Gatlinburg changes quite a bit. But this is just one of my favorite spots. Oh, Craw Daddies, Annie Ann's. I got the, the old downtown market here. Yeah, watch out for a, a timeshare person jumping out between the buildings here. <laughs> uh, you got Shamrocks, Western Saloon, Escape Games. They're getting pretty close on the new Welcome and Ticket Center here at Skylift Park. Not too long now. It's gonna be ready. Yeah, you're still smoking up there. Have you got any good eats lately? The summer season has winded down. A little more slimmer pickings. And we'll catch you later, bud. Quit smoking, by the way. Uh, looks like Parkway Gifts is getting restocked here. A little restocking. I'm heading to Paula Dean real quick. So she has her signature sauces here, some salad dressings, different types of seasoning. They even have a, a big red air fryer up there for $139. Some red pepper jelly. Ooh. And a sweet potato butter. Little butter Christmas ornaments there. Of course, you all know that Paula loves butter. Bless your heart. All right, that's a that's a southern saying, right? You hear that a lot. Oh my goodness, Christmas is already here. Yeah, I got some really cool things, classic things. Something that my grandmother would would have, you know, around. Of course, that little TV there. It's that's kind of kind of nifty. Dawn, pretty soon Christmas will be here, and it's one of our favorite times of the year. Yeah, don't don't make me peck you, right? One hot southern chick. And don't forget about fall, even though Christmas is creeping in. <laughs> a little bit of fall. Oh yeah, a little Smoky Mountain magnet there. Yeah, made in China. Uh, so we're looking for things Gatlinburg. And Old Smoky Moonshine is one of those. We're gonna go back and take a look. Yet again, we can't, we can't ship no liquor. I know that we can't do that. But maybe they'll have some cool merch, you know? Maybe something kind of one-of-a-kind and yet again they always have really nifty one-of-a-kind merchandise this is cute. That, is, that is cute boot scooting huh <laughs> and good vibes oh, yeah I bet you they have all their fall uh, t-shirts out at the moment you know they, they always have really cool tees you know 
Yeah, so they got hillbilly caviar, which is chow chow. Uh, okra hooch beans. Yeah, I guess there might be a little bit, maybe a little hooch in that. I don't think there's any alcohol. But anyways, yeah, they have, they got salsa, they have barbecue. They also have some pancake mix, some hush puppy mix, and different types of jelly. So they have more than just moonshine here. Oh, they even have a white lightning mustard barbecue sauce, which looks amazing. And these crazy little gnomes, I bet you they've been up to no good whatsoever. Hey, Dawn, did you see those gnomes? Yeah. I'm pretty sure up to, they're up to no good. They like their moonshine. I think they do. Yeah, I love the decorations in here. A little bit of, yeah, there's a old moonshine jug up in there. But they do have a lot of little little gifts that you can give and that's what we're here for to look for some gifts i always found it fascinating how many different flavors of moonshine i have i got banana and coconut and uh, watermelon and everything a pumpkin even the pumpkins out right now pumpkin spice makes everything nice right and with the rod runs coming up they they have some t-shirts for that a little Halloween going on. Yeah. I remember that one from last year, but I think this Frankenstein or Frankenstein or Shine, Frankenstein <laughs> is new. White Lightning Tavern. I guess if you drink too much white lightning, you'll you'll end up like that guy there. Moonshine pickles, then they have shine pineapple, cherries. I think I found a t-shirt for Dawn. Look at that. That one's kind of cute. Yeah, little, those little gnomes. Yeah. Got some pretty cool shirts, don't they? Just a beautiful day, it really is. Now oh, they're redoing the retro arcade. Looks like they're bringing in some more, some more games. And Sugar Lands is made also right here in Sevier County. The old car wash, right? Yeah. It's been a while since we've been in Sugar Lands. They say it's the number one tourist destination in Gatlinburg, or at least that's what it says on the sign out front. But uh, they do have some really cool t-shirts and, and merchandise. This is kind of interesting here. Yeah. They have a little tasting area out back here, a little cocktail bar. You can cool down and and this heat, oh my goodness, they have Eggo Moonshine Brunch in a jar, sipping cream, Appalachian sipping cream. The best part of, of brunch. <laughs> Let go of my Eggo. <laughs> is there, is there, oh, there is, that is Moonshine. It's 40 proof. Yeah, that's the. I don't know. You could you could try it. Yeah, but you can try it. They they would probably let you try it. Yeah. Sipping cream. A lot of the local moonshiners from those TV series come here quite often for uh, signings and meet and greets. They got the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. Huh. And they pretty much have every single flavor you can imagine. Root beer. They got maple bacon, blueberry muffin. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. They, yeah, they, they, they do. They got it all. Strawberry dream. Pumpkin spice. A little bit of fall starting to pop up. Electric orange. 
and dark chocolate coffee. Even Dale Jr. has got his own own drink here. I didn't know that Dale was in in the drink business. It wouldn't be Gatlinburg if there wasn't shine, right? And they yeah. definitely have they, they have all the crazy flavors you can imagine. Even Ego. Ego. And it would be a weird flavor to try. Kind of curious myself. I don't know. But anyways, interesting. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Woo! Rocky Top, Tennessee. They always have unique things in Jonathan's. They got some interesting reading here, especially this one here, the Ghost of the Smoky Mountains. That's really fun. Gatlinburg Uber. It's got a bear being abducted <laughs> by aliens. Looks like Bigfoot's been up to no good over here. Yeah, they even have some hats that Dawn would wear. I like them. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. I can see you wearing that one right there. And coming up, we'll be working on a Dollywood gift box with stuff from Dollywood. Tim Weberding makes ornaments right here in Gatlinburg and you can buy them pretty much at a lot of the gift stores. And that's what we're gonna give in this box is one of his, his Christmas ornaments. Yet again, made right here in Gatlinburg. Seems to fit the theme that we're going with today. This is the ornament that Dawn and I picked out. And it says 2023 on it. Of course, made right here in Gatlinburg. And we're gonna grab three of these guys here. We got the three handmade ornaments at Jonathan's right here. And I like doing this because we're we're help we're helping support Gatlinburg and the businesses. You know what I mean? And folks are gonna get some a little bit of Gatlinburg in the mail before long. I think it's a it's a win-win for for everyone here, isn't it? And this haul is getting quite heavy yeah. with four one pound boxes of taffy, ornaments, cups. Yeah, it's getting crazy, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna take a little look at Killwinds here. Now, this is a Michigan-based company, but they're pretty but they're pretty much Gatlinburg. I mean they are. Oh wow, the smell in here is amazing. Wow. And you can smell the waffle cones. And it's just you have to be here for yourself. We got chocolate covered strawberries. And, and so we decided to have lunch at the Pancake Pantry. We did this once before and it's pretty good. Yeah, so we're here at the Pancake Pantry for lunch, but they're known for their pancakes and they're known for their breakfast. But we found out that their lunch here is actually very, very tasty. Of course, these are all their signature pancakes here. And they range about $15 and below. They have burgers over here, gourmet sandwiches, and soups and salads. Yeah, so the Pancake Pantry has been serving Tennessee since 1960. And if you're heading into the National Park for a while, you can take a box lunch with you for $13.50. So I'm gonna get the French Royal Club. Comes with a Thousand Island dressing and served with potato chips. 
And Dawn's going to get the grilled chicken salad. So I know what you're all thinking. Pancake pantry for lunch, but their lunch is really good. And, but of course the pancakes are good also, and breakfast in general, but I do recommend lunch. So this is the marinated cucumbers, and I remember this last time. It's got like onion in it. It's sweet tasting. Yeah. Yeah, so you remember that from last time. You want to try some? Yeah. I remember it being sweet and onion, and it has the onion taste to it. And I can smell it. I can smell yeah, the onion. You can smell it, yeah. yeah these were pretty good last time. So lunch is served. This is my my club sandwich, looking good. It comes with the, some potato chips there and split pea soup. And the soup is piping hot, isn't it? Go ahead, Don. Try one of my potato chips while you're waiting for yours to arrive. And you you can try one of the the clubs too if you want. What do you think about the chips? Are they a barbecue? Yeah. But you know they're homemade or, you know. And um, yeah, I gotta actually count the chips because if you don't know, we are counting the calories, we're counting our food, so I gotta figure out roughly how many chips I have. And then, of course, the proportion size of the club, and then the cup of uh, pea, split pea soup. And Dawn's chicken salad. Looks like you have um, some Italian dressing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomatoes, cheese, croutons. Yeah, looking, looking good. Wow, huh? Now you can try one of my sandwiches. I want to buy if yours too. You want to buy? Oh, go ahead. Like so Dawn's gonna try. So Dawn's gonna try my soup. Split, split pea soup. Like it's hot. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. Yeah. But yeah. Like you know, all the food is good here, even during lunch, you know. The salad. The chicken looks like it's really fresh. It looks like it's marinated. It is. Now is it hot or is it cold? The chicken. It has a little bit of spice and kick to it. Is it hot chicken it's or cold? Hot chicken. Okay, so it is hot chicken. And that's what we're dealing with. Hmm. So you can taste that Thousand Island dressing. Uh, it's really prominent in it. Bacon, really good. Um, nicely toasted, uh, buttered like bread on white. It was a beautiful day in Gatlinburg. We had lunch at the Pancake Pantry. It was good. What did you think? I enjoyed it. Yes. You got the split, split, yeah, split, split, uh, the, split uh, pea soup uh, with your meal, and I ended up eating it. Yeah, so you ended up doing, yeah. Yeah, my yeah but you just had the salad and chicken, though. Yeah. I had that big old sandwich. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to be feeling that <laughs> the rest of the day. Gallenberg is looking good, folks. There's a lot of um, stuff coming up, you know, that's going to be opening shortly. We got... A whole mess load <laughs> of of goodies. gifts, yeah, of goodies, right? For the ninety-one thousand subscriber appreciation giveaway, uh, so we're gonna do three gift boxes from Gallenberg. We're also gonna do three more in a few days for Pigeon Forge. So we're gonna be looking for Pigeon Forge goodies. And then we're probably going to do a Sevierville one. So put in the comments below what you might want to see in the Pigeon Forge one. So if you got friends out there that like Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, like traveling, like to see goofy people like us, tell them about our channel. We can get the subscriber count to go up because so we can hit the 91,000. And when we do, 
we'll fill you in on how you can enter this giveaway. It's gonna be fun. We already did one giveaway for 90 and it went real good. And we're excited about the 91 and we're gonna keep doing this until we hit 100,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I never thought in a million years our little channel would even get to those numbers. And yet again, I wanna stop and thank everybody for you know being part of this ride with us. And we appreciate every one of you. But that's gonna do it for today here in Gatlinburg. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> it's heavy. It is heavy. <laughs> uh, guys, we love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.